It's a win-win all round. The youngsters benefit from the programme and so does the community. Over £2,800 were raised for women in need, the EV Foundation and the Special Needs Action Group. The graduation ceremony crowned an intense three weeks. The summer challenge is three weeks long for each cohort, so we have one for 16 to 20 year olds and the one that we're celebrating today is for 12 to 15 year olds. Um, they do a three week challenge where the first week is the outdoor challenge, where they have to take part in a whole bunch of outdoor activities like kayaking, abseiling, climbing, zip lining. The second week is the innovation challenge where they get to learn a bit about entrepreneurship and raise funds for our friends from other charities like Women in Need, the EV Foundation and Special Needs Action Group. And the third week is a community challenge where they actually start learning about photography, arts, drama, music, sports. And then yesterday, as part of their community volunteer initiative, they did some cleanups with the Nautilus project. Um, around all of that, we do something called the feel good space, which is working on alleviating themselves from maybe any negative self perceptions, low self esteem, to start living with a lot more confidence, drive, and ambition. Because each day is so intense and they're doing so much. We wanted to recognize their achievements because from taking part in all the outdoor activities, from raising funds for local charities, to then volunteering within the local community, and doing a lot of the inner work to be able to become more confident within themselves, it's a lot that's going on. As a result of that, we feel that it's important for their parents, friends and families to recognize the transformation that has been taking place so that they also feel included in the growth of their children. Sponsors and supporters were also presented awards with the GBC Open Day among these. Mentors also had their moment with a special tribute to program leader Paul Perez. <laughs> Culture Minister John Cortes asked the youngsters to hold on to the experiences and the memories they'd made. It was an emotional ceremony with all those who'd experienced the journey coming together as a family. They have been so keen to the point where everyone wants to join again uh, next summer. It's more than anything, it's the friendships that they bond with people that they never thought they would connect with. And yesterday, somebody told me that they feel they deserve to be celebrated because they brought their full self to the challenge rather than becoming someone that they wanted someone else to be. And I thought that was really lovely that someone said they truly were able to feel at home and feel themselves rather than being able to live up to the expectations of people around them, which was really lovely. They just want to have fun. I think all of them have been craving that element of fun. And it's funny because what we take for granted in our generation of socializing without technology, for them, social skills is a huge part of being able to feel comfortable with other people without resorting to the phone as a safety net. So the fact that we took that away from them for a period of time was so good because they said that's so much fun, just being able to connect and make those bonds and friendships with people they never thought they would. So fun was definitely a big key. And Cycle has exciting plans for the year. It aims to expand its operations out of Gibraltar to assist those in developing countries.